Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Stellaris. So, let's continue where we left off. We finished some research, so let's pick the next one. Probably blocker removal. We got these types of blockers on at least three different planets. So, might as well research that. Also, it looks like I can get the defensive pack that I wanted, but it will cost me around 15 minerals per month. Which is a little bit much, however, if I get attacked by my neighbor, I'll probably lose, because I've been working on my fleet, but they are still ranked as overwhelming, right here. So I lose a lot more than 15 minerals per month, if they attack me. Which means it's probably worth it. So first we'll send them 15 minerals per month, for 10 years, and it should raise our opinion enough. I don't like it too much, but at least we'll be relatively secure. There, they accepted, so now the defensive pact should be at around 0, plus 1. Yeah, it's at plus 2. Alright, and we got it. Nice. So now we should be relatively safe, if we get attacked. But I'll still keep working on my fleet, for obvious reasons. And I'll probably still colonize that system, because it's a nice one. Well, I don't know the details, but I know it's an arctic planet, so it's definitely worth it for us. But first we need one more wormhole station. Let's take care of that, shall we? Oh, this is slightly out of range. We'll have to take care of the pirates in that case. Alright, that's fine, we'll take care of the pirates. It shouldn't be a big problem. Off you go, then. We do have an admiral. System survey Although, he's not a very experienced one. Let's have a look. This should be doable just fine. I mean, we will obviously win, I just don't want to lose too many ships. But I don't think we will. We should be okay. Only one way to find out. We actually got some of our minerals back from previous deals. We also need more energy soon. Let's check out the fight first. Anomaly found, nice. We'll definitely check that out. We will lose a few ships, that's kind of hard to avoid, but it shouldn't be too many. Yep, we are more than fine. We only lost around 100 fleet strength. I can deal with that, so back we go. Update to latest designs. And we'll send the science ship to check out the debris. And then check out the system itself. And we'll send a construction ship to get a wormhole station. That way we'll be able to reach the system and colonize it. Alright, looking good. And let's keep working on some cruisers because we do need more. Yep, we certainly do. All right, what's going on? A special project, asteroid base. Situation All right, updated. let's have a look. Where is that? Oh, right here. All right, same system. We'll definitely check that out. What is the science ship doing? It's right here. So let's check that out first. And then we can finish scanning the system. I want to know what exactly that is. Construction complete. Let's find out. Complete. And the research is done. Plasma thrusters. What can we get next? Cruiser assembly yards. Better missiles. Mining network. Oh yeah, let's get the mining network upgrade. Sounds good. And the blocker removal is almost done, as in the research. That was quick. Only one more month. There, it's done. What's next? Uplift, Biolab 2, minus 10% army upkeep, military academy. I don't care about any of these things all that much, but minus 10% army upkeep isn't too bad. And it's only 900, so it will be relatively quick. 
Now let's start removing some of the blockers because there are quite a few. Remove all of that. And yes, upgrade. That's the colony center or whatever. Yep, remove those. And let's have a look. More research. Minus one food on this planet. Not great. Let's remove that blocker actually. Oh, we cannot afford it right now. Oh yeah, we need more minerals. One more month. I'll just wait a moment. There, remove that. And we have to wait for more minerals. Plus one artifact recovered. 150 engineering research. Okay, not too bad. And I guess we'll need a new colony ship. So, 346. We'll also have to assign at least one more planet to a sector sometime soon. How are the sectors doing anyway? Probably not amazing. Well, let's have a look at the planets, shall we? Seems fine-ish, but they could certainly build more than this. And the other one? Yeah, not great. But alright. Carry on. It would be nice to increase our colony limit. But I don't think we'll be able to do that just yet. Oh, there's actually a colonizable planet over here as well. 14 population. We could just create a sector over here. Which is not a terrible idea. I might do exactly that. And there's also some debris in the other system. Let's go and check that out. Research. Research complete. And survey the system. So, mining network is already done. What do we want next? Better armor. That's not a bad idea. Let's get better armor. And colony ships. We need colony ships. So, there you go. We'll need two. And we have to survey all these systems. That will take a little bit of time. Let's just queue them up. In fact, we should survey that one specific planet. That sounds like a good idea. But let's finish the project first. And then we'll reassign the scientist. Next research. Plus 20% border range. Yes. We definitely need that. That's a no-brainer here, I think. We might even grab a few systems that aren't within our borders right now. I'm pretty sure we will. Alright, let's survey that one specific planet first. Yep, the Arctic one. Sounds good. And check the planets again real quick. Also, we should build the engineering bay and crew quarters on our main planet. So let's do that. That will do. And check the other planets. Do some upgrades. More minerals. Right here. Basic mine will do. Next up. Not much we can do here. Yeah, we need more minerals right now. Let's wait for that. Yes, we do have negative balance, I'm aware. That's mostly because of the colony ship. It doesn't really matter which planet we colonize first. I'd like to colonize both ASAP. So let's get started, shall we? Right here. Off you go then, and we'll need one more colony ship. We'll grab one ASAP, but let's maybe work on our energy. Can we improve energy anywhere? I think we got everything, so mostly the planet's surface now. Let's have a look then. Can we work on that? I bet we can. What's going on? Another civilization encountered. Which system? Oh yeah, we will get that system. That is convenient. Upgrade. Can we get more energy somewhere? Yes, we can. It won't be a whole lot of energy. But always something. System survey complete. Power plant. 
Oh yeah, power hub. How much energy is this planet generating? I don't think that's enough for a power hub. A regular power plant will do. And one over here. Logs good. And one more colony ship. Before someone else colonizes that planet. We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? They probably won't, but I'm not going to take any chances. Back to the science ship. Survey all of this stuff. We might find something interesting. Yep, survey everything. Off you go. And this one. Okay, I think we got all of them. Almost all of them. Still two more. Now we got everything. Alright, do your thing then. Minus 18 energy. Yeah, we need to work on that at least a little bit. We can get more from the sector, I suppose. 50%. I don't think it will make a huge difference, but it will make a bit of a difference. It's good enough for now. We do have over 3000 energy stored, so I'm not too worried about that. We'll get plus two. In fact, we can get plus two already. Let's go and do that. Off you go. Hopefully we'll find some energy in one of these systems. We should. There is more energy around here, but it's outside of our borders, unfortunately. So we will not get that. How's our fleet doing? Seems to be doing okay. Let's grab that colony ship first. And then we'll go back to building cruisers. The planet is done. Let's assign it to a sector right away. Or we can wait a bit. To improve it ourselves. Slightly. There's no huge rush. Let's wait a bit. Some power plants. Yeah, a lot of energy on this planet. This will definitely be useful. We can also change the focus in the sector to energy. So let's maybe do that. Yep, let's do that. I don't think it will make a huge difference, but it should make a bit of a difference at least. Research is already done. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, basic fighter wing and basic bomber wing. We should grab that. Especially now when we can get cruisers. And we are getting cruisers. Colony ship. And colonize. That will be the last planet we're colonizing for now. Because there's nothing else really. It's not an amazing planet, but it will do. And we'll build an observation outpost. As soon as we can. And then we can start the sector. In a little bit. Alright, how's the research going? Oh yeah, five months to finish the better lasers, nice. That will definitely help. That's going to be our best weapon. Let's just wait for that to finish before we build a new cruisers. Because we'll have to upgrade everything anyway. Oh, one of our scientists died. Okay, then. Let's grab a new one. Leader lifespan. Industry research. Let's get industry research. I'll have to move his assignment. Actually, no, this is fine for now. Military theory. We're not researching any of that. Okay. Now, once we're done colonizing everything that we can colonize, we'll have to start thinking about some sort of expansion. Construction complete. Yeah, I don't like this system too much, but we are relatively friendly with these guys. And there's the laser. 
What should we get next? Power Hub 2. Colony development speed. Colony ship build cost now. Improved assist research. Not terrible, but I don't need it all that much. Let's actually get the power hub. It will be useful. And we have to update our designs. Pretty much every single one we got. But we'll start from the cruiser. So, replace the laser. Should we just replace everything? I'm thinking we should. Yeah, the laser is way better than the disruptor. The disruptor is only really useful if we end up fighting ships with a lot of shields, which we don't now. So let's go for a more universal solution and grab the laser. This is the best weapon I currently have access to. Just need to rebalance power a little bit. Let's have a look. One more reactor should do. That might be a little bit too much now. What if we grab more shields? Plus 10. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Seems fine to me. Alright, maybe change the name. There, X-ray class cruiser, because that's quite literally what it is. I like descriptive names. <laughs> now, other designs. Let's have a look. The destroyer. Yep, we should definitely update that. Minus 5 power. Not great. Huh. We don't really need the afterburners all that much. I think we'll be fine without them. And we can rebalance this a little bit better. Also, yeah, outdated reactors. Plus 10, minus 17. Alright, good enough. Did the cruiser have updated reactors? No. And finally, the Corvette. I don't think we'll be changing this one. Yeah, keep the missiles. Looks fine. Time for an upgrade. Once we get enough minerals. That's a lot of minerals. Alright. Fine, no problem. Now, what about that System sector? We should probably start that soon. Wait, what? Do we care about that? I don't think so. Minus 20%. That's not great. But carry on. Oh yeah, that's the sector. The leader has gained a level. Colony established. And there's the colony. Let's have a look. Not much to see here, really. We'll start a power plant. And check the other one real quick. Yeah, looks good to me. Let's start that sector then, shall we? There, that will do. And assign a governor. We can afford it, I guess. New anomaly. Yep, let's assign a new governor. And focus it on energy, I think. Yep, focus it on energy. Can we get a decent governor? That will do. Done. I'll keep all the other planets. We can afford to be one planet over the limit. That's not the end of the world. So now we can focus entirely on our fleet. Which we definitely should. Starving. Minus two food. That's not good. Oh yeah, I remember this planet. A farm. We do have a frontier clinic. We'll need more than one farm. Upgrade the other one. I guess that will do. We might need one more, but we'll see. Too many colonized systems. Yes, tell me something new. 
We know that part already. Can we upgrade our fleet yet? No, yeah, we need 200 more. Oh, we gained a new trait on our Admiral. Nice. This one, minus 10% ship upkeep. That is very useful. All right, then. That will save us some energy. System survey complete. More surveys are done. Oh, yeah, hold on. Before we build any mines, let's start upgrading the fleet. One more month. Oh, yeah, they are already upgrading. They were queued up for the upgrade. Okay, let's see the new ranking once that's done. I'm hoping our neighbor will stop being overwhelming, as in that the relative power will drop down to superior. Wait, it already dropped down to superior, did it? No, it didn't. These are the guys. Their naval capacity is superior. Their tech level is equivalent. We'll see. If we end up fighting someone bigger, it's going to be these guys. They don't really have any alliances. They have one vassal. They are just really damn strong, and that's pretty much it. That's the biggest problem. They are just strong. But they do not have any allies. Power hub. And upgrade. How much food do we have here? Plus five. No need to upgrade that. Remove the blocker. Looking good. Work on some energy. And get a science lab. And another science lab. And a mine. Minus one food. And we'll need a farm as well. Right here. Hydroponics farm. And how are our other planets doing? Not amazing. Minus one food. Need another farm once we get the money. Give me the minerals, thanks. New research. Oh yeah, nice. Plus 20% border range. Let's check if we got something new and exciting. First, we'll pick our next research. Plus 20% food, strategic resource. Sounds useful. So, did we get something new? Let's check our borders. Yeah, I don't think this was inside our borders before. And there's some project that we can research here. Yep, carry on. Let's check the other systems. Yeah, this is new, I think. Anything else? Down here, this is slightly out of range. Is this one in range? No, not claimed by any known empire. That's new, only two minerals though. This is also new. Looks like that's it. And down here? This one? It's inside our space now, but it's all minerals. I don't care about minerals all that much. I mean, I do, but it's lower priority. I was hoping to see some research, Ships upgraded. but no. Ships upgraded, and what's going on? Asteroid belt, blah blah. Physics research gained, and engineering, 350. That's nice. How's our research going then? Oh yeah, the fighter wing and the bomber wing is almost done. We can create a new cruiser design with that. With research fighter wing or bomber wing. So, new research. We could get robots. Engineering facility 2, better missiles. I wouldn't mind better missiles, but perhaps we should unlock the robots? Not sure about that. I don't think it's necessary. Not when we rely on slaves, to some extent at least. Let's unlock the missiles. And new cruiser. Let's have a look then. We'll use the hangar slot. What's this again? Oh yeah, space torpedoes. I don't think we need those. Not really, no. Alright, basic bomber wing. I think. Ignores 
50% of armor, plus 100% shield penetration. That is quite nice. 30% evasion. I mean, we can always get both. No problem with that. And the X-ray lasers. That's the best weapon we currently have. Some point of defense. Regeneration. Afterburner or two. 1.7 speed. Yeah, we can use one afterburner. Some power. And shields. Maybe some armor as well. We got better armor now. Just need to balance it a little bit. Plus 30 power. That will do. Exactly zero. Alright. So that will be a carrier class crosser, I guess. Because that's pretty much what it is. Sure, and we'll build a few of those. Probably not too many, because they are not exactly cheap. But a few will definitely help. How much will that cost us? 725. Yep, definitely not cheap. So, how's the situation? Is anyone at war around us? There's a faster way to check that. Let's have a look. Who's at war from the people who hate us? No one, really. These guys are at war. Where are they exactly? Right here. Oh, they are at war with Shadow Sovereignty. Alright, interesting. They are a little bit too strong for us. Only superior in fleet power. They don't hate us all that much. This is my real target, eventually. I'm not sure how exactly we're going to do it without a superior fleet, but I guess we'll see. But for now, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.